the Vocational and Skills Training Program through financing by the International Fund for Agriculture Development provided skills training to young men and women in the sisters of Kariku. The two courses, Wall and Flow Tiling and General Agriculture, were implemented by the TA Marisha Community College campus in Kariku. Town CC has sponsored with SIEP and has been offering two current programs, Wall and Flow Tiling and General Agriculture. When I was told about this program and to assist in the facilitation, I felt very excited because um, I had my concerns having retired from agriculture several years and, and, and um, not seeing much young people involved, I was a bit concerned. And when I heard of it, Ms. Davis shared with me, I was very excited and so um, I'm here now passing on information, um, my wealth of experiences and training, you know, and so I'm happy to be a part of this passing on knowledge, practical skills for, for life. The course covered uh, erection and dismantling of limited height scaffolding, which they did on point, uh, erection of um, the rest the restriction barrier with all the signs and everything on it, and the repair of wall and flow tiling. Approximately 40 persons enrolled into the courses. The courses offered them practical exposure to animal husbandry, crop production, pest management control, machinery, the use of personal protective equipment and practical skills in wall and flow tiling. I have learned new skills in the field of agriculture and I have learned how to put some practices in places like irrigation, controlling pests, using machineries and mulching plants. I learn a different variety of things such as planting different crops, learn how to measure goats, and, and etc. Well, I had a bit of exposure to tiling work before and then learning a few different tricks, skills, stuff like that, and it was a good experience in the sense that there was a lot of things that I didn't know and now that I know it, it's pretty exciting going forward from here. At first, when I started, make new friends and then getting into the depth of it, I enjoyed it. Well, different types of tiles, how to lay down the tile, how to cut a tile, how to measure the room to put the tile down. Well, it gave me a wider range of different opportunities. I could be employed, self-employed, and also work in partnership with other people. Um, meeting new people and um, learning a new skill. I thought that everything else was exciting. Every day was an exciting day in, during the six months. At the end of the six months training course, all students who have successfully completed will receive a level two Caribbean and national vocational qualifications. Well, I uh, intend to use the skill, you know, go out in the field, learn a few more tricks from people that's involved in the trade, stuff like that. Uh, basically, I could have it as a side job in case it I get one at the moment, so that could improve me to where I want it to be. Well, my plan is to practice some of it home, and if it came out to be successful, I will open a small business on my own. After successfully completing the course, I will put some of what I have learned into practice, and if successful, I will start a small business in the field of agriculture. SIEP is committed to supporting the advancement of young men and women in skills training and certification for sustainable livelihoods. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am Alicia Julian, and I am a SIEP beneficiary. I am a SIEP beneficiary.